Hello and welcome back to another quick easy math game you can play to help improve your student's or child's fact fluency in multiplication. This game is called Multiply and Conquer and uses three simple materials that you may or may not have around your home but are easy to find. You use graph paper which I'm sure many of you have had in the past or have access to. You can print many kinds from online. I also have sometimes large pads that are left over from previous experiences. Ten-sided dice, if you have them available. If not, a deck of cards would work. You can just remove the face cards and only use the numbers ace through ten. And two or three different colors, depending on how many people are playing. You can play with many different people. The aim of the game is to try and cover as much space as you can by multiplying your numbers and covering the area that associates with that or using the array that they make to cover some area. So if we had two separate players, this would be player one, for example. They can write their names on the top if they would like to. Otherwise, they can just identify themselves somehow. I'm sure that the players would know. Perhaps player two is orange. So player one's turn. They would take their two dice, they'd roll the dice. In this case, our 10-sided dice does not indicate the number 10, and we're practicing our facts from 1 to 10. So we're going to use the 0 as a 10. This says 4 times 7. I could rearrange these to make them 7 times 4, depending on how I would like to draw my array. This player would pick a location on the grid, anywhere they would like to take up the space. Sometimes, later in the game, you may want to strategize about where the location might be. So, they are going to make a box that is 7 by 4, as that's the area. 7 times 4, so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 squares by 4 squares. This is the area of that box. The student's the next job is to indicate the response to the multiplication question or the area of the space. So 7 times 4 makes 28. This is their location they've claimed. It is now the second player's turn. They are going to roll their die. They have 2 times 3. Their space is significantly smaller. They are going to choose a location. They can choose an adjoining location or they can choose another space on the board anywhere that they would like to play. 2 times 3. We're going to make two groups of 3 this way. Two groups of three or two times three is six. The area of that space is six. At the moment, player one or the blue player is taking up significantly more space than the orange player. However, because of multiplication, the chances for you to change that size change very quickly. This is six groups of one or one groups of six. They may want to go alongside this if they feel like blocking someone or ch choosing to make it more difficult for that player to play. Six groups of one. Some locations might be smaller depending on your size of your grid paper to write inside the boxes. But play would continue until there's no space left on the board. If you roll one that does not fit, for example, if I rolled 10 times 10 and was unable to fit the 100 on the space, then my turn is over and it would be the next player's turn. We are trying to use up as much space as possible by practicing all of our facts. Enjoy!